Hello, hello. My name is Nick. I'm an auto body technician. I'm making this video in case anybody's wondering what collision repair technicians use on a daily basis. People that work with their hands. A lot of these tools you have to own if you're in this industry. Your job will not provide you for any of this stuff. You have to spend all this money. I. It is just what it is. This is what you have to do. You're basically an independent contractor. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Top drawer, all my sockets, Torexes, Phillips heads, um, flat heads, three eighths semi deep, quarter inch semi deep, extensions, three eighths extensions, trim tools. Um, these are kind of like almost like uh, little trim tools that won't leave a mark. Um, I'm missing a few of them, but that's because I have them out for warranty. Same thing with these. These are just longer trim tools. 3 8 uh, deep, 3 8 shallow, quarter inch shallow, miscellaneous stuff. This is for using on the frame rack. It's 24 millimeter. That goes in a 3 8 gun. So that way I don't have to keep using my big gun all the time and carry that big heavy thing around. Uh, air blower, grease pens, safety glasses, golf ball, <laughs> um, double-sided tape. Never know when you're going to need that. Uh, lighter for when you're doing electrical work. You could be able to melt some of the cords and all that stuff. Pen. Big snap-on, basically spotlight, ear protection, more snap-on flashlights, double-sided. This is a big one. That one's nice. That was expensive. It's all expensive. It doesn't matter. Uh, another light. Uh, tape measure that I use for doing uh, a lot of structural repairs because it has a bunch of like smaller measurements on it. Snap-on, new, brushless, 3 8 18 volt gun. This is a lot of money. 14 volt, 3 8 mini gun, 3 8 air ratchet. It's the bruiser version or buster version, they call it. This thing is basically as powerful as your air. Big deep one, like 10 millimeter, quarter inch, 11 millimeter, quarter inch. This will be because all those stupid Fords that have every single different socket. They got 5.5, 11s, 9s, all, everything but what everybody else uses, basically. <laughs> um... Feeler gauges for when you're fitting your crappy aftermarket parts that your insurance company buys. So that way you can be able to hope to God that you can get it close. A um, bunch of half inch uh, sockets for doing wheels. On one side is a 19, on the other side is a 21. Cell phone holder, little headlight for my head. Torex, 3 8 quarter inch. This is on a magnetic thing. That's pretty neat. It's a quarter inch. So let's get into the drawers. Bunch of standard stuff, just trim tools, tape, pliers, wire cutters, a groundless uh, test light. You just hold these two, you just make sure you have your hand on that piece. You put it on the electrical piece, you want to see if it has a current going through, it'll beep. You don't need to have a ground. It's pretty neat. Trim tool, warranty stuff I need to send in a snap on, more trim stuff, scissors. These are for marking on steel. They'll show up on steel and it won't come off. Hammers! Everything you could need. I cut this one myself so you could have a short throw. So that way you could get in small tight areas. A dolly for all different angles. Clamp. Pull plate. So this is like... This is better. So you weld this on the car where you want to pull. You put that there. Then you put this through. You put your chain through here on the frame rack. This pulls it out. And you'll be able to work out bigger metal. Uh, let's see what else we got here. This is for plastic repair, bumpers. You put that on the end of a, a pry bar and you roll it around. Another dolly, really nice dolly. This is the one that you're going to use the most. More chisels, chisels, chisels. This is the most important thing. This is nice snap-on. Uh, big, heavy-duty dolly. You could be able to use this bang around frame rails, bang around rear bodies. All types of stuff. Good block of wood. These are like gold. You could really bang around soft sheet metal with that. Really good. Knife. Putty knife. Safety equipment. Probably for welding. This one's for mud work. A bunch of gloves. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. I don't throw gloves out. It's a weird hot habit of mine. A bunch of wrenches. Snap-on. Blue point. Um, I don't use them too often. But sometimes you need them. Air tools, DA for sanding, belt grinder for getting out your spot welds, mini DA, hole punch for putting in new panels. Punch those holes in so you can be able to weld. 3 8 
air gun. Don't really use it. It's my dad's. He gave it to me. I hold on to it for sentimental reasons. Um, a nice die grinder, snap-on. Uh, material grinder, snap-on, but blue point, basically same thing. Mac tools, air hammer. This thing's kind of crap. It always wears out the bits. See how these have like little marks? And those get stuck on the inside shaft and then it gets hard. So then you have to be able to take on. you have to take your grinder and then grind it down smooth so that way it could fit again this thing is not that great but the snap-on one's like a thousand dollars so i don't have it <laughs> the um snap-on cutoff wheel snap-ons three-eighths air ratchet don't use that too often anymore snap-on uh half inch um, big gun, 18 volt. This is old. I bought this in like 2009. I use it only for uh, wheels mostly. It's not really that strong anymore, but it does the job for putting clamps on a frame rack and taking tires off. Trim tools for when you're swapping out all the airbags and taking apart everything. That's my Mac Tools tool cart. I wheel that around with me on a daily basis to every job. And that's what I do. Little creeper, another creeper. This is a Harbor Freight one. If you spend more than $20 on a creeper, you're an idiot. Uh, this is just a little lay down mat. This is my snap on dent puller. Yes, these things are like two grand brand new. I only paid 800 for mine because my dad had a good rep at the time and hooked me up awesome with this. This is my 68 inch snap on epic toolbox and it's awesome with my underlight with all my little stuff on it, coffee cups I have to take home, all my little tools, toys. My lunchbox, sockets, top drawer, half inch, big stuff, half inch metric, half inch shallow, standard. This is mostly for using mechanical stuff. I don't, at this shop I'm at, I don't do a lot of mechanical. At the shop we were at, it, we did a lot of mechanical, so I still have a lot of stuff, but you never know. I'm never going to be here permanently either, so you never know. 3.8 standard um, little things, use these for older cars. Everybody is metric now. Nobody really uses standard anymore. Half inch um, extensions, half inch ratchets, three eighths ratchets. This stuff's all basically dinosaurs. You don't use any of this stuff anymore, but you have it. A big uh, dead blow hammer, never use it. Um, I got it with a set, but it's neat. Snap on Allen keys. These are metrics, I think, and these are standards. Um, with the soft grip anybody knows uh these are like gold these are awesome bunch of miscellaneous sockets uh spark plug sockets this is all magnetic tray swivels everything this is just a bunch of random stuff if i lose something i usually grab something from here or it's stuff i find in cars that other technicians leave a bunch of stuff like that uh tamper proof torexes these have the little nipple in them so that way you could be able to take them off these went away for a while and now ford as usual is bringing back the random tamper proof stuff inverted torexes mostly airbags have inverted torexes that's all it's just a star that's on the inside on the side of the outside big boy torexes i have never needed to use that uh these are all uh like star i don't know what else to, i just call them star uh sockets these are for german cars mostly don't run into them a lot but you have to hold on to them you got to kind of have stuff because you never know what you're going to be able to use because you don't know what kind of car you're going to get so you need kind of just random stuff bigger hammers a big seam buster that you could use for frame rails chisels punches another clamp i bought more dead blow hammers these are for more like if you're going to do mechanical stuff these are just old hammers that my grandfather had that I still have. Uh, lady slippers. Don't know the real name for that. Sorry if it's offensive. I don't know what it. I don't know what this is called other than that. Um, this is for like pin holes to line up uh, panels. This is obviously for bigger stuff. A straight edge, so that way you can be able to make your long cuts. Files. These old files are not sharp. These were my grandfather's. I have them for sentimental reasons. Bigger pry bars. Really good pry bars. Nice big snap-on with the hit on the back. That's not lost. I don't know where it is right now, but it's not lost. It's in a car, probably. 
this is probably a drawer of very useful stuff and not useful stuff. I uh, don't. I have another set of snap-on wrenches because I'm an idiot. I don't use these. These are all miscellaneous wrenches, standard. They're all standard. I don't need them, but I have them. Um, same thing, little monkey wrench, soldering gun, window. I don't even take windows out, but I got a window tool. This is a very expensive wrench that you could use for tie rods. This thing's awesome. Wire cutters, tin cutters, hose clamps, welding cleaners, other types of different clamps and pliers and tranny line pliers and ring ply ring snaps these are good for airbags and stuff like that more wrenches i don't need but i have because some of them are grandfathers and i just keep some of my stuff a bunch of my uh welding clamps things of that nature just a miscellaneous drawer full of uh stuff i don't know my stuff I use this for putting self-tapping sheet metal screws through panels so that way they don't move before I weld it. Uh, this is my heavy-duty drill. Uh, I use that for drilling out heavy-duty stuff. This is my light-duty drill. This is brushless from Snap-on. This is a new tool. Um, I use this for drilling out like little uh, rivets and things like that on bumpers and hard-to-reach areas that I can't be able to get this big boy in. Again, like I said, sometimes you need to own multiple tools because of like different versions of uh, same technical tool because you never know how you're going to be able to fit it in a car. Sometimes you need tight areas. Sometimes you, you have more room so you can use the bigger stuff. At least that's how I do it. I like to always make sure I have everything I can need. Little battery operated 14 volt flashlight, trim tool, rubber gloves, 14 volt reciprocating saw from Snap-on. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, wire brush cleaner that I could swap out and be an eraser wheel. Snap-on's uh, for air tool for tires <laughs> um, a harbor freight uh rivet gun because they're cheap and they work more miscellaneous me mechanical stuff my nice torch some push rods for my i forget what that's called but it's like basically like uh, whatever little c-clamps another clamp for the frame rack that you could put in wheel wells stuff for brakes and uh, other suspension stuff, brake caliper remover, a couple handmade dollies that my grandfather made that I still have. Uh, air tools, another backup of my, uh, for a spot weld cleaner, a glass tool. These don't really work, but I have them because they're very old snap-on. They don't make them like this anymore. A finishing DA, a powerful DA that I don't use because the pad is all rotting on it. Another uh, powerful DA that I don't really use that often, but I do use this one, obviously, because this one you can't use. Baseball. The very, very heavy-duty 1,000 foot-pounds of torque snap-on half-inch air gun. You could take anything off in the world with that. This is better than anything, and I will fight you on it. Uh, this is a quarter-inch backup. This is a quarter-inch mini. I used to use that all the time when I first started. Now we don't need them anymore, but I still have it. Welding stuff, snap-on welding helmet, snap-on grinding guard, or grinding helmet, bunch of welding gloves. Again, I don't throw gloves out, but there they are. Welding respirator, this is for, like if I'm really using something that's heavy, um, those pretty much quiet everything down. What else we got? Air grease for the air tools, stuff for cleaning if I get hurt. My, uh, this is for my coolant. Sucks all the air out of the system. Then you put that in your coolant system through one of these hoses. Fills it all up with no air bubbles. Saves you all types of time. This is just a drawer full of nothing. It's got just clamps and hoses. And Band-aids. This is my first Mac Tools cart. I bought it 200 bucks. And I used this one before I got the black one that I have now. Now I just use it for storage of all my batteries. Charging station rigid batteries a little 14 volt batteries lunchbox i need to take home it has nothing in here really stuff i could use to build more drawers with my snap-on box snap-on uh cart that my dad gave me why not take it for free a whole bunch of stuff on the bottom not even gonna pretend i keep that organized um all my sandpaper sticky sandpaper uh velcro sandpaper all my mud and fillers and plastic repairs and scotch guards and 3M 
a double part gun. This is for filling pinholes. My, uh, this is, that's how I keep my <laughs> drill bits. Yeah, I don't know. I bought an $80 magnet that holds drill bits because, sure. Tape. Metal cutting stuff. Spreaders and tips and hardeners. And sanding blocks. A calendar that I never changed the date on. But that's it. My radio. But that's it. Yeah, all this stuff you have to buy yourself. Um, and, you know, depends on what kind of tech you are and how much money you make. But usually, I usually try and get some of the best stuff. Little whiteboards so I could write my jobs on. There's nothing on there right now because I wipe them all off when I'm done with them. And it's the weekend, so I have nothing going in for Monday. Which is what you want. But yeah, I have uh, a lot of tools. I have, um, I just, this is what you have to have. You have to have this stuff and you want to buy good quality stuff because as you're using it, you want it to uh, last a long time. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. This is the toolbox, a little better look at it. I don't know, I know a lot of people might be interested in this. So I have a side cabinet that I'm gonna order and I have a top locker that I'm gonna order, but I'm not ordering it just yet. I wanna make sure that we're gonna stay this busy before I order my side cabinet top locker. But yeah, we have to keep all this stuff. We have to buy all this stuff. The job does not pay for any of this stuff. You have to buy it. Every tool, everything. So, except for like the big equipment, welders and things like that. But I'm sure there's some jobs out there that don't do that. But yeah, okay. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any requests on anything else you want, I could do, uh, just leave in the comments. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.